Hello, and welcome to my thoughts while standing in the queue. Today I was standing in a coat shop trying to get something to protect me from the spring winds that we have in the UK, and I was thinking about some fashion-conscious farmers who decided to dress their cows in bright, shiny outfits so the motorists wouldn't ram into them when they were going 90 miles an hour trying to get from one place to another. I thought that was a pretty good idea. Uh, it's quite the thing now with dogs. If you go into a pet shop, you can see all kinds of classy outfits for dogs. My friend Beth had a little chihuahua princess named Daphne, and she used to dress her in costumes that were appropriate for the time of the year. Daphne, thank God, doesn't have a time of the month. Beth fixed that. But Daphne at Strawberry Season has a beautiful little t-shirt with lots of strawberries on it that says, Pick Me Up. And she has a little hooded raincoat in case uh, it starts to rain because she lives in California. And she also has sunglasses in case the sun is so strong that she can't see what her mistress is up to. I decided I'd like to do something similar for my pets. And I had a stupid dog named Donald who won the prize for being the densest canine in Pacifica, California. I decided to dress him in a tuxedo and take him to a local dance at the senior center. I thought it would be very lovely, and I have a lot of trouble getting men to dance with me at my age, but Donald likes a cuddle, and he doesn't mind moving to a waltz or a spirited cha-cha. I went to the pet shop, and I found the perfect tuxedo with a little tie and a little white shirt. Um, and I was astounded at the price, but I thought, well, it's a good investment because I don't have anyone to dance with, and Donnie likes to dance with me. So I bought him the outfit, and I got him all decked out, but the trousers confined him, and he couldn't stand the starched shirt, and so um, he refused to wear the costume. And I took him instead to the local tea dance for, the se for seniors in Burlingame uh, with nothing on but a jeweled collar. And when I did that, no one was interested in him, uh, not even a 94-year-old dowager, although she did uh, pet him and cuddle him a little, and Donald did enjoy that. But I decided, well, I'm not going to dress Donald up in something fancy, but uh, I am going to do something uh, about the torrential rains that we had in California. And so at that time, besides Donald, I had two other dogs. One was Molly, um, a mutt, that was afflicted with such intense flatulence that she could empty a room, and Jake, who was an exuberant cocker spaniel who loved to jump on up on me and listen to my heart to make sure that I was alive. I decided to get the three dogs um, slickers to protect them from the torrential rains that we were having this particular year and get me a golf umbrella to protect us all. It took me a lot of time to get all the animals into their costumes, but when I did and then got them out walking, it simply didn't work. Jake couldn't stand being that close to Molly, and he ripped and pulled and tore his slicker to shreds. Molly was so upset by the inclement weather that she was passing gas at such a rapid rate that it melted the raincoat and it disappeared down the drain. Donald didn't even know he had a coat on. The wind was so strong that when I opened up the golf umbrella, it reversed it and it threatened to send all four of us across the bay. Still, I hope that the farmers are having a better luck than I had with my three animals, because I think it would be a good thing uh, to dress uh, bossy in a little green cravette and Gladys in a bright flowered uh, jacket. Uh, I think it would be a good idea for sheep herders to do the same because I think that a, a sheep in a flowered skirt and a little flower behind her ear would be a lot more attractive to a shepherd than uh, one that was just sitting there in the all together. Don't you? It certainly works that way for women. And thank you so much for joining me for Thoughts While Standing in the Queue.